Hey guys, Frelio here with Making an Adventure, episode 17. In this episode, I basically just want to show you some things I've been trying to work on. Um, I've been trying to come up with many different redstone projects, and uh, that's, that's another story. This has nothing to do with what I'm going to put in the map at all. It's just, uh, it was a little fun. Just something to mess around with and do. Anyway... So I've been testing different things. I've been testing speeds of repeaters, designs that you can make, um, mainly just messing around with them. And then I came over here and decided to, uh, to build a death room, which, as you can see, is massive. Uh, I was also working on something in here, just a simple pull that. That's where a chest would be, where that sandstone is. Um but sort of a hidden chest thing. Uh, now the death machine, I'm not going to actually do it, but I'll show you what it's supposed to do. So there's only a switch in here, right? But you you see, you're safe. You think you're safe. Right, but, but really you're not. When you pull the switch, right here opens up, that spot opens up, and this spot opens up, so those two open up, and lava start flowing out. And right here behind you, this wall breaks through and blocks you in. That's right. You can't use a pressure plate to get out. There is no way out without mining yourself out. Of course, this little area here is safe, but, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to have to take the death. Um, as well, you can't just flip the lever back. It's impossible. I put in a memory to where once you've switched it, it's switched. There is no unswitching. So once you've made your choice... Well, you've made your choice. Other than that, I was just trying to figure out how to make pistons on top of one another work smoothly. As you can see, it works smoothly with a lever or with the uh, pressure plates underneath. Something as simple as that. Um, I was also working with a clock, trying to just make... Uh, things repeat. However, because I was using repeaters, and even without repeaters, for some reason, when you change the time of day, they mess up. So, clocks are pretty much out of the story for me, unless it's a clock that you turn the power on and off to. Um, and then I was working over here. I watched a video on trying to make a combination lock. It was starting to work, but at the same time, just not working whatsoever. I can get it to reset, as you can see here, uh, the colored ones, not the red ones, red ones are the bad ones, but the colored ones are the combination. So the diamond, the lapis lazuli, the glowstone, and the wool, um, basically are all ordered together in order. So it's basically blue, gold, light blue, white. So when you push those, a light's supposed to come on, but you see the problem is it doesn't, and it just basically glitches out. So, I just have a lot of problems with redstone. Is it because I'm doing it on multiplayer? Is it because, uh, I, I don't know. Do you know why? I, I have no idea. Like, one time it'll work, and then, out of nowhere, even if I don't change the time of day, it just stops working. Anyway, that was supposed to be where you put your combination, and if you click the wrong one in the wrong order, or you click the wrong number here, then it basically is broken and it doesn't work. And you have to just try again until you get it, and then you push this, and it was supposedly supposed to open this door. I've had to change the redstone quite a few times from the original video. I don't know. Maybe you have an idea, so I decided to try something different here, and just use levers. As you often see, more often than buttons. So, red is the ones you want on, and black are the ones you want off. So, by turning the right ones on... The door opens. Fantastic. As you can see here, I'm using AND gates, so as long as both of those are on, this is on. As long as that's on, which means both of those are on, and the final one is on, this is on. Which then comes around to a cancellation gate, if necessary, which is why this is also inverted. I originally used this just as a repeater without putting in a, the new repeater and just using the redstone like we always used to. But then decided, you know, that's a good idea because I can, uh, I can use that as basically a knot gate. And, uh, 
so having those on opens the door. If one of them's not on, it doesn't work. It just it doesn't work. Um, however, even if you pulled the right ones, which it should work, I don't know why it's... Did I miss one? What happened? It should be strong enough to send the signal to this one. So let me, uh, which turns this one off, which should turn this one on. See what I mean? It just randomly stops working. Out of nowhere. So any, oops, any suggestions on, on that, on fixing my little issue? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Time's getting dark again. Let's set it back to day. Now, I just, I don't understand why sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And this should be on. Let's flip the, the switch. No. Alright. Which means this one should be on. which turns this one off and turns this one on, which opens the door. Which turns that off. Wait, no, that should turn that one on. See, basically you have to just keep replacing the redstone torches until it works again. Okay, so that's good, but that's not on again. Which is very annoying, but anyway, here's what's supposed to happen, basically, so that turns off, so that turns on, the door is open. If you flick one of these, which are the wrong ones, your combination is wrong, right? You can't just flick them all down and, oh, eventually it's going to open. Nope, is why I put this in here, which connects underground to each other, and comes here, basically, to a knot gate, and it stops it from opening. So you'd have to turn it back off for it to open again, but, of course... Redstone glitches out on me, and that's not going to happen. But, uh, I was thinking of using that somewhere. I don't know. I want to add in a city in the multiplayer map that's basically based around redstone and technology. I'm okay at redstone. I'm not the best at it, but I'm certainly not that bad at it. I can fix what's wrong, because it's a simple binary zero or one system. If it's on, you know, it's one. If it's off, it's zero. Um, you know, zero into a torch makes it a one, or a one into a torch makes it a zero. It's, it's really rather simple, but only issue is it glitches out on me. So then, maybe I am doing it right, but it's just glitched, so there's nothing I can do. So, I have no idea. If you have any suggestions on how to fix that glitching, please let me know. If it's if it starts to glitch and I notice it glitching, should I just completely shut down the server and restart it again and, and try again? Because sometimes it works, sometimes that doesn't work. I don't know if any of you have experience with glitchy, glitchy redstone. But that's basically what I've been working on so far. I was trying this and I wanted to basically have a pulsing sign of redstone, but... I don't know how to make one on top of the other work, um, such as that. It just, it doesn't make sense to me, so, yep, I've got the death room to work out well, the, uh, hidden chest thing to work out well, the somewhat of a hidden door to work out well. And I know this will work, just not for me all the time. So, any suggestions on maybe a redstone contraption I should put in, or would you guys like to see another puzzle map, only this time uh, you would spawn in a certain area and there would be no way out, that way I could do all kinds of redstone wiring on the outside, and you just go from room to room to room, doing, uh, you know, the puzzles and, and whatnots. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the video, guys, so thanks for watching. Please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video where hopefully, if I work with redstone, it works.